Okay, so um, we came to visit um, Rema, Ghana, and um, where they are now, uh, they have one of their sites around um, and someone uh, Parkro. So that is where we are now, and um, we've joined them. A lot of things are going on here. If you check around, they have um, rubber plantation over here, a very big one, very, very big one that um, you need to see and um, support them. And um, they are doing so well here at their camp. Uh, they are they have orphanage. They have their own school. They have a rehab center where they take care of uh, drug addicts or anyone in any form of addiction. You know, I have the senior man himself who takes care of everything here. Uh, your name? Uh, my name is Pastor Yao Valentine. Okay. And I'm the director of Rima Ghana. Okay. Um, as a director of Rima Ghana, uh, briefly, tell me what is Rima about? Okay, Rima is a NGO, is an organization, Christian organization, right? Okay. Who is taking care of uh, drug addicts, alcoholic, street children, etc. In another way, we are doing rehabilitation of marginalized people. All right? So, Rima is rehabilitation of marginalized. So um, it, it doesn't matter the kind of addiction you have? It doesn't, doesn't matter? It doesn't matter. So it's not just about um, drug addicts, but no, 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 any no, form no. of addiction? Any form of addiction or any form of need. Because when you talk about marginalized, you are talking about those who are suffering, those who are, uh, don't have the means. Uh, and they've they been neglected. they neglected in the society. Okay. They are welcome in room. So today, I, I'm impressed with what I'm seeing around. This is in Sawam yeah. Parkro. Yeah. Uh, is it one of the branches or tell me about this place? Okay, uh, in Sawam is our Rima village. Okay. And we are calling Rima village the same time as a first phase of the rehabilitation. So, uh, uh, normally, here is our camp. It's not the only place. Here is our village, but you have different places as Kumasi, and Pabami, who has told you all the region directed they are in. Okay. So usually the program is what we decide every month to meet here and to do farming. Farming, okay. why? Due to the numerous, the numbers of inmate people you have in our centers. Does it mean it's difficult taking care of the inmates? Yeah. How difficult it is? How difficult it is, first of all, you are talking about people who are being controlled by addiction. It's like okay. people who are not they are self. We tell them, we say that they are sick. So taking care of a sick person, a sick, a sick person is not something easy. It's very difficult how to feel the person, how to help the person emotionally, uh, spiritually, and uh, you don't say naturally. So it's very, very complicated. But we believe strongly in God. And we know one of the more, more important thing is to have the means, the materials, what are the food to take care of them. That is why we must to farm to have enough to sustain our uh, community. It means that all the farming activities you do, uh, at the end of the day, it goes back to feed them. It's not to sell. It's go back to feed. So you don't sell everything you are no, doing? No, 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 no. Apart the rubber plantation project God give to us to establish the rubber and at the same time to have a means to develop the social work of the ministry. Because you can see that it's a village, uh, you have the school, uh, you have you are in construction, you can see the building you are making, you are setting it up. So you must to have income to support the organization. Okay, so at least internally generated funds, yeah. you generate funds internally. Yes. You don't depend externally. You don't always depend externally. You must to have something inside that you can sustain us. Okay, so now let's talk about the drug addicts that mm -hmm. comes in here. Yeah. Uh, I understand uh, there are some rehab centers when addicts come in for rehabilitation and they are craving, they give them small... <laughs> I, I know you've heard. I know, I know. Does it happen here? No, 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 no. You know, even we advise uh, people, you know, we receive people from psychiatry, uh, from, uh, how do you call it, uh, different hospitals. When they are referred them to us, we just focus in the rehabilitation and the reassertion. Our rehabilitation doesn't get science to sustain you with other addict, other tablet or injection. No, no, no. You, you can fight uh, addiction, let us say drug, with using another drug again. It's not possible. You cannot fight a drug addiction problem with another drug. No, it's not true. It's to no work. But people go for rehabilitation at no, some no, no, hospitals no, no, no. and... This, uh, for me, is uh, 
is uh, diplomatically they are just using is uh, look it's impossible to use a drug to fight another drug it's like you come out to another addiction you fall to other so addiction. it means if you are not careful you become addicted to what you are being treated thank you so the, even they make the doctors they will advise you after your 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 uh, what are saying your your detoxification you must go to a rehab center do advise you because we you are doing things naturally. When you come to us, we will tell you stop taking the medicine because you see sometimes when you come because of the drugs, the medicine you are taking, you are not in normal size. You come like balloon, etc. So you have things to go naturally to tell you you suffer for a little bit, one week, two weeks. After that, because it's like you clean your blood, the deadness must to go out, and after. You will start the real process. How sure life. how sure are we from Reham Rema uh, Rehabilitation Center? Mm. How sure are we? Well, okay, so what has been the success story so far? When addicts come in, are they are, are you able with what you've learned so far or, or on the job? Are you able? Yeah, able. But you open your eyes and see. How many of people you are seeing here? How many of this? You count. Okay, you, so you hold on. Yeah. Uh, I have this man here who is telling me you've smoked, smoked for 35 years. Smoking what? Uh, I smoke heroin, cocaine, marijuana, cigarette. Oh, I mix them together for 35 years. 35 years? Yes. Have you stopped? I've stopped almost 15 years now. I've never touched drug again. And they not even, I don't even take one paracetamol to sustain my addiction. No, hold on, hold on. You are confusing me. For 35 years, yes. you were into drugs. Into drugs yes. You've done everything. everything. And now you are telling me for 15, 15 years now, yes. you came here to Re Rema. Yes. Um, were you? Were they giving you small, small to be taken to? Nothing. 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 You can't even see drug or even nothing. It's raw. I know, Pastor, and they are here, but I want you to tell me the truth. Were they, they, they giving you small, small? Nothing, nothing. You can't even see what drop in your eyes. But, but, but what, so in, in your drug life, what have you lost so far? Oh, I've lost so my respect. In the fight, the family rejects me. I became an outcast living in the street. I, I, I sleep in the ghetto. I don't bath. You should see me. I'm like a mad person. I lost everything. Were you stealing as well? I, I still, they beat me. It's it, so many, I get so many problems. I, I go for a police station, they beat me. They, they, they so, me to, so you were transformed at Rima? At Rima. At Rima, that made me. So 15 beat. years, nothing? Yes, nothing, no drug, nothing. Again. Ha, have, have you gone back to your family or have they seen you? Oh, yes, yes. And what was their reaction? Oh, before now... They count me as a as a person. Yeah. Yes. Even if they consult me, they talk to me, because they know that there's something good can come from me. I am today. Yeah. Wow. Thirty five years 35 of years addition. Wow. So um, that is one of the success stories here. Yeah. I don't know who is ready to talk to me. Okay. So let me come. Uh, please, your name, Jamel. Jamel. Um, have you have you been into drugs or any form of addiction before? Uh, seriously. Which one? The cocaine. The heroin. The ganja, the cigarettes. Everything. You've the, done the alcohol. alcohol everything. Oh, weather. You were stealing as well. It's not small. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And uh, let me ask you this. How long have you been off drugs? How long? Oh, it's not quite long. About five months. Five months. And you've been <laughs> off? Yeah, off. Do you have the cravings to like, oh, this time, nothing. Have you tried rehabilitation before in the past? It is about my third time, fourth time. So, I should believe you. Oh, this time, this time around. Okay, so let me ask you, have you been to Rema or this is your first time at Rema? I've been to Rema before. And you left back yes, again? I left back again. And now you are back. No, back. So, for the past five months, you have never... No, 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 no never. I How? passed to the ghettos. You I pass there, but you don't enter. No, no, no. But at first, when you are passing by the ghetto... Uh, at least, like some sick of cigarette there. How much were you spending on uh, drugs when you were in, hey, in a day? That one day. <laughs> that one day. It's come pretty day. When you see Kana now, they are going pretty day. And your family were in? Oh, they're in Kumasi. Are, are in Accra. Are they aware you are with Rema? Oh, just last week. They got aware yeah, you are Just in. last week. Um, I, I was asking Pastor something. At some rehab centers, mm. 
uh, inmates will come in when they are craving and the edges there they'll give you something small a bit to ease you here yeah, what, what what happened Rima, even for herself <laughs> it's hard but it's good activities you see i understand you pray a lot yeah hey, a lot in the morning in the afternoon even there are some guys they'll, they'll call you at the corner and we got prayers move mountains without prayers me i've been in Rima. when they say let's go to pray that's why i came back I didn't want to pray. So everything you are giving us that assurance that you are not going back again. Oh no, 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 I'm not going back again. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, let me come to uh, yes, sir. Your name. My name is Samuel Joemi, sir. Okay. Um, have you been in any form of addiction before? I'm a serious junkie. Oh, serious, serious junkie, drug addict. What What were you doing? I smoke heroin, cocaine. I sniff and inject. You were injecting too, oh, ultravenous. Yeah. yeah. You were doing all those things. Yeah. How long have you been off drugs? Uh, I live drug for 12 years now. Oh, 12 years. Yeah. You pass by ghettos. <laughs> yeah, I, I do. You I don't do, feel like... I do evangelism. Sometimes I go so I go there, I give my testimony. I tell people I was a drug addict. I was a prisoner. I show them a lot of scars when they beat me. Because so it means you were stealing? In my drug life, I was a thief. I do car boot. I open people's car. And I pick your money and all stuff and I embed it in drugs. I remember one day I was caught up beating messless less and tight on the back of a car, dragged me on the floor and dumped me in a gutter. I have the marks in me. But... One thing is great that God has been faithful ever since I started. The scouts are going away. No, they are there, I remember. It's okay. not going eh? They are there, I remember. They are so much I remember. But You've been to prison too before? Uh, yes, I'm ex ex addict. Uh, ex ex convict. Where? Which prison? I've been in Saoma, I've been in Kafu. Through stealing. Through stealing. Were you doing robbery or something? No, no, I've never. You done were just it. breaking into people's car. I break pe people's car, break to people. We have something we call breaking and enter. When you go to your office, we come to your house with we, we sugar, we break your doors, pack your baggages, and we go back to get to and say, and start smoking drugs. What was the turning point? What actually touched you for you to go like, I'm, I'm tired? Actually, I was abandoned. Uh, my family abandoned me. I'm from a very good home, but because of the life of drug, when my mom passed away, everybody abandoned because my mom was supporting me. No, no matter what my stupid life, she is always there for me. Okay, so you did it for how many years? I did it for almost twenty years in drug, and then for the past twelve years, I am no more smoking. I'm by grace to our marriage. Now you are married. Yeah, but married. when you were doing drugs, you were not married. No, 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 no. No woman was interested in you. I was not even dreaming of having woman self. No, the drug I, was your wife, your everything. Everything is drug. But thank God today I'm a living proof. I'm a testimony. And God has been a blessing to my life. And today we are handling a ministry, taking care of people in Kumasi. In Rema Kumasi, we have three homes and we help the work to grow. Wow. Um, um, you came to Rima. The transformation happened at Rima, right? Everything is right here in Rima. No other place right here in Rima. No other place. For the past 12 years, I entered. I'm staying in Rima. I never go back to this. You can go to the ghettos. You see them do doing everything. it. I go there. I talk to you. I pick people from the ghetto and we help them. Because it become a passion. Our God is doing our God. Your wife is aware you've been into it before. Yeah. Eh? And my wife is in Rima. We are all serving God in Rima. I married her in Rima. I met her in Togo. I did five years in Togo. I went to Liberia. I went to Cote d'Ivoire. And it is Ghana. I married her. Wow. I don't know what the message you have for people who are into drugs. I don't know what you're going the to tell. The message I want to tell people, it is about focus and decision. There's one thing I thought to myself, the decision you take today will determine your tomorrow, whoever you want God to be. And also give your life to Christ because it is only Christ who can save you. With your strength, you can as I heard Pastor was saying, you were asking a question, people use drugs to drugs, but it will not help you because you become a mania or addict, uh, you, allergic to it and it will destroy you. You only have to give fully to God and make a decision 
you want to stop, ask Christ to be with you. Just as you did. As I did, because I'm a living testimony. Okay, you are a living testimony. Finally, before we go, who introduced you to drugs? Oh, he said, my friend, a schoolmate. I school at Gobodia Sec Tech. Hey, he's a tech boy. My senior <laughs> who introduced me is dead. He, what, what did you say? So the drug killed him? Yeah, he, he stole a tech and they dumped him from third floor. That is Unity Hall. They dumped him from third floor to the ground. He so he, he told you what what is a drug i don't know what he was able to convince you no he just like you know peer pressure and friends you know i i did a boarding school so in like uh, intercall uh saturdays when we are having fun oh this guy gangster let's smoke and let's try this. And before you realize it you are doing you. a lot of things yeah Okay, thank you so much. Thank and we thank God for your life. Amen. So, um, we are going to make a tour inside um, Rema village uh, where everything happens, where every action happens. But Pastor, we are going, but I want to find out mm -hmm. how much, if because I get people calling me every day. Mm -hmm. I have a brother who is into addiction. I have this, the messages I have, even on my Facebook, sometimes I can't answer. They are asking me, if I want to bring my brother to a rehab center, how much do I need to pay? Rema Ghana, how much do you charge? Okay, uh, to be honest, Rema Ghana, we don't charge. Okay? Oh, you no, don't charge? We don't charge. Let's be honest, we don't charge. Only thing we are saying, God receive us free. We all enter free in this ministry. Okay, Somebody no, no before you talk, let me ask. Yeah. Please, did you pay any amount before? I didn't pay anything. Okay, did you pay anything? Nothing. Let me find out from you. Did you pay anything? No, they even gave me transport to come here. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> did you pay anything? I didn't pay anything. When, when did you come here? Uh, I was here since 2011, uh, 2010. 2010. You were also into drugs? I had drugs. Cocaine. Cocaine you were injecting everything. I don't inject. But I, I chase and I hit the rock. That is it. That's who, who taught you that? Uh, it's a friend from France. Uh, but why are you all saying... So you were in France? You, no, he was in France and we met in Ghana at the port of Benin. Okay. And uh, we started with, you know, the ganja oil. Ganja oil. Yeah, you rub it on a cigarette. Mm. Ashes. Uh, ah, ashes. Yeah. Uh, hey. And so gradually he came out with the brown sugar. It came out with the brown sugar. Yeah. Then I tasted and I see that. Okay. Um, when you take drugs, yeah. how do you feel? Because sometimes, I don't know, how is it like? Can you compare it to something that I can relate to? Yeah, could you drug life? Mm. Like when uh, you take it, like how do you feel? <sighs> the speed up is the number one. Speed up, as in it what? It gives you intelligence. Any movement you want to make, you don't look back. Okay, so it means that when you take it, yeah, and it, you yeah. want to get to in Sawam in five minutes. I can start walking to Sawam. I don't look for trotro. Even trotro by is when you don't I, care. I don't have the means, so I want. I, I must get to the, in, in Sawam. Probably I came to also here to get money. some money to get to the ghetto. The ghetto is in, in Sawam. I here to no trotro. Aha! Uh -huh. There is this question: Why is it that those who are into drugs they don't want to take their bath? A lot of them I've interviewed. There was one is guy the, the, I met. He cold, says for a whole year. Is the cold techie. When you take your bath, what happens? Uh, before you take the shower, then you are well cured. What is cured? Cure means you have your dosage. Then you can take your shower. Yeah. After a drug addict take a shower and change up, then you know he had a good dosage. But if you don't have a good dosage, you don't shower. The cold is there. Cold techie. We call it cold techie. You don't feel yourself. You are not at yourself. You see, be like you are tired. How were you getting money to satisfy your drug addiction? Yeah, uh, me, my way, I tried to evangelize. Yeah, I con. Like you, you were an evangelist. No, uh, no, 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 no. I a con man. Yeah. Okay, okay. So <laughs> let, let's assume you meet me. I Let, now, you, uh -huh. yeah. yeah. How, how I, may I help I you? I have my bag behind me. Okay, so how may I help you? Uh, so you meet the guy. Uh, uh -huh. yeah. How may I help you? Boss? I'm traveling to Mangasin. Okay. Fact, I'm a horticulturist, and I had a work over there to attend to, but I don't have the means. It's going to help me. So if I get about four of you, I'll have... <laughs> I look the first. 
<laughs> you're able to make my day. So you can gather about four people and oh, then yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, more than more than and, uh, and the way you are neatly dressed. See a boy noir. That's a fair structure to, yeah, to do. I'm gone. Sometimes you are holding a khaki yeah. with a gallon. Oh no, 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 I like this part. Yeah. Like you are holding a khaki yes, and then know, with an empty gallon. Yes. Then what do you tell them? Uh, fat. Picking the children to school and then the vehicle just ran out of diesel, please. So can you? I want to buy just one gallon. Yeah, one yeah. gallon. If you are the more, the more there you can buy more gallons of food. <laughs> <laughs> and you get about okay. So you go and get the khakis. You go and buy. Uh, oh, the khakis. Yeah. They are around. They are around. If you need it, you get so it. So start shaking it. They know you are. Key key. They know you are a driver. There's a crest in the car. Maybe you put one amount for. Ah. Oh, let me try to. Ah, uh, okay. So if you see me with maybe with the premper sticker, oh, that so yeah. sometimes you know if you see presec, you know they are so. Oh, what that year? Oh, what that year? Yeah. 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 But that oh. light, you shall see like. <laughs> yeah. The drug addiction, in fact, only by God's grace. Some of us, if you are along the line, are fortunate to meet people who sympathize with us and say, "A ah, gentleman, if this is your situation." Why don't you take you to hospital? But it doesn't work. You know, we go to the hospital, get the big checks, come out. I'll tell them, I'm sorry, I left my shoe at Tudu on the roof. Where am I going? Where is your family? My you have family, a wife and children or something? Uh, but due to drug, everything scatter. Even my children abandoned me. Do you know where they are? Uh, the, uh, some in Tessa, no, I don't know, but, uh, but, uh, but the truth of the matter, I've been my part of staff been encouraging me that the bird, no matter how it goes away from the nest, it comes back to the tree again. So your children has they've also abandoned you. Yeah. How many are they? Uh, I have two girls. Then we we need to make sure we are going to reconcile you with your children. Amen. And the parents. It's like, but you are a changed person. I, I hurt them a lot, you know. You were not paying their fees. You were not taking care of them. Yeah, I remember my little girl. I lied and pick a phone from her. And ah, you lied to your little girl. My daughter. How old was? I don't know her uh, age. She that was by then. She's a little bit. So she had a phone. She had a phone, and, and that's the first time to see me, and. Uh, Oh, the first time she she saw you as oh, this is my daddy. After, you know, I brought her to Rema. Okay. After I brought her to Rema, the mother heard that I've left Rema. She mm. came for her. So later things start falling apart. And around circle, she also at and uh, was communicating with her. And when she came, she was having this small Nokia phone. And you told her that what? Uh, just give it to me and. You I, sold it. I went to smoke it. And that is a wound in the heart of the little girl. So your daughter is really hurt about what yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I regretted it. And Do you mind? Been, because I feel within me that we need yeah, to reconcile you yeah, and your children. You know, in fact, so... Do you want to reconcile with them? Oh, why yes, not? Yes, why <laughs> not? That's what he's praying. Why not? <laughs> why not? Uh, <laughs> it's my prayer every time for God to forgive me what I've done against my children so that they also forgive me. But the pollution is not them now. The parents, the aunties, yeah, they are injecting. They've not them. accepted yeah. that you are a change person. Yeah, they are injecting. You, know. you, you had money back then, eh? Uh, not really money, but, you know, the personality is there. And, yeah. Uh, you see? Even now, the personality uh, is there. Yeah, it's the grace now. <laughs> yeah, the grace found. is sustaining yeah. you. And in fact, like my pastor was saying, drugs can never fight drugs, my dear brother. With my experience in the ministry, what I realize, I see God working in the lives of, you know, if somebody tells you, he will take you to a place to go and stop an addiction that may be because they are wealthy and they want to waste money, but they are not going to give you a good life. So they are going to really inject you with the drugs and you become a robot. Wow. Without the drugs in you, you are poor, sitting where you are. Yeah. But here, I see, you know, 
the practical aspect of the prayer that we are doing day in, day out. More prayers. More prayers. Bible morning studies. Morning devotion, you know, church service. And then the preoccupation, you mm. know, because you can't stay in your house without sweeping. You can't stay in your home without washing dishes. It means that when you come here, you are engaged to do yeah. other activities to help. You know, it revives us. If you are a driver, that was a physical therapy. yeah. yeah. When, if you are a driver, you eventually end up driving in Rema. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. If you dance computer in school and you left, you end up they put you in office. <laughs> Who am I? If I tell you the vehicle I'm using now, you wouldn't believe it. A C class Mercedes V6. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> that's what you use. That's what I use. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yes. Hey. Yes. Please write my name, Rema, I yeah. beg you. <laughs> and next week I'm coming with my luggage. C class. Yeah. That's what you drive. Yeah. That's what I drive here. Yeah. How much did you pay before coming here? I didn't pay far. Nothing I pay. Just by the grace. I was, you know, what happened lastly, before I came back to Rema, uh, I, I saw that, yeah, God uh, really arrested me. I was in Kumasi because I tired of Accra. So I've been touring around the whole Ghana for mm -hmm. smoking. Where train can go, I go with train. <laughs> Until... I get to my last job in Kumasi. Rima. Eh? Yeah. No, no, not Rima. Okay. In the ghetto, I think. I was there when a young man just came. You know, I slip outside. Before getting up, I realized my shoes is gone. I wasn't mm. having anything to put on. So this young boy was is able to hit the day. So he's in the ghetto, hiding very well, and I approach him. Oh, bro, what's up? Well, look. Bring me down this morning. The tech is too much. So he ran me some lines, <clears throat> get me some heat. So I asked the boy to get me with slippers. But first of all, he told me he went round the last night and he had a cylinder. He stole a cylinder. <laughs> he stole a cylinder. Let's call a speed a speed. Yeah. And then he left it with a security somewhere near uh, this FM station at Abripo, what they call it? Angel. Uh, Angel, Angel, Abripo, Angel. So, after my dosage, I go take some thought of Apeteshi to speed up because it wasn't enough for me. So, I have to <laughs> substitute it with some alcohol. On our way going to Abripo Junction, arriving there immediately, the guy didn't even talk. People sight the slippers that I'm putting on. It's your money. I'm Pabuanu Pune Shenwe. I stole his slippers. Hey, I took a slap. God so good. God was on my side. I saw a policeman, so I raised my hand. Hello, police. Please come arrest over. me. Arrest uh, me. Yes, take me. <laughs> it wasn't far from Swami Police. They took me there together with a guy. I said, Jedu, so are you a thief like this? You know this thing doesn't belong to you. And you gave it to and me. And you gave it to me. But you knew he stole it. Please tell the police right now that I'm not part of your business. But you knew he stole the thing. Uncle, I'm an adrenal trauma. you are Auntie, arrest no more. So, you know, you now wear the medicine tear for my eye top when I got in the grip of the police. So, he, he spoke. The boy too was just released from a case of a bag of sugar. <laughs> so his name is still in the docket at the police station. Oh, so he was wanted? No, he's been bailed. He's, he's been bailed. bailed from that issue already. Oh, okay, he was just so bailed. So when then. he get back with me, it's like, hey, Ajedu, what's up, I help you? I said, please, Ajedu, tell the police. I'm not part I'm of not it. part. I'm a school bus driver. I just lost my documents. <laughs> and that make me accompany you and fall in this trap. <laughs> Mr. Police, I'm not a criminal, please. <laughs> yeah, I must be frank with you. Say Pascal Tamaklo. Yeah, that's my name. 
I drive Happy Day International School, Tafon Shiesu. Were you driving that? Yeah, day? I was driving. A German lady owns that school. So you were the driver? I was a driver, but along the line, I asked for a holiday and I couldn't come back. And so you are not back. So why do you still claim you drive? Yeah, bus? that was my profession. <laughs> <laughs> so they left you, you were put inside? I stayed there. Ejedu couldn't speak. Ejedu couldn't speak until I was put in remind. You were taken to court. Court to remind. Ashtown court. And you were remanded in police custody. No. Prison custody. Prison custody. And Ejedu was bailed. I was still there. I turned a Muslim malam the first time because of where they put me. Okay, you became a, a malam. A malam in the cells where we are to pray so that I'll be able to have everything easy in that dorm. But later, the malam no way. Still, I'm a kobakiado. I used to throw tafia small, small. Ah, in prison you in were prison smoking. In prison, and your baby. Name is Hey, kago they come in. People, uh, kago. Kago they come. <laughs> Oh Can my God! Come. All these places cannot change you unless you want to change you. It means that when you um, sentence a drug addict to prison custody, oh. you are you are worsening the case oh. because it oh. cannot transform. No. because no. the drugs are still there. Yeah, you know. So in fact, there I stop. Hmm. I could see that. There are class of people I live in in the dorm weight. They are not supporting my addition again over there as a preacher man. So I'm lacking certain things because I don't eat from the prison. Everything is there. Water, pure water, special diet. When I start losing these things, I stand on my feet. I say no. And the Lord is talking to me that I am here to reform. I should start my reforming from here before the outside world. So I stop. No cigarette, no herb. Nothing in the I prison. I lead people into morning devotion. But, and in fact, the day I told them I will never return back here again, God made a miracle. I went to the court and tell the judge to temper mercy with what? Leniency. You understand me? Because I can, you know, look around all the court here. I'm not a criminal. I even come here to find something for my drug ambition to satisfy it. You told the court. I you, told them. You told them the truth that you are an addict. Yeah, that is my problem. And I lost my car document, my document to drive. I lost them. That made me wayward in and fall in this trap. So please, and in fact... The next day I went to the court. They released me. I came back and picked my belongings and prayed with them and returned. So immediately, the next day, I went to Rema in Kumasi. You were acquitted and discharged? Yeah. Just like that? Yeah, just like that. Nobody came my aid. Holy God. No lawyer? No lawyer. Yeah, when you are in your truth, God defends you. And when my pastor heard that Pascal I've entered Rema. I was even in the washroom. They brought me the phone that immediately they should bring me to Accra. Here I am today. Fully transformed. Yeah. The last time you touched drugs, do you remember? <laughs> that was, I mean, 2010, somewhere before the World Cup in South Africa. I watched that game in, uh, in Rema. Yeah, you know. How do you feel now? Oh, oh, liberty, freedom. I fear no one. You you, you I, are so strong because you've been working since morning. Because you're about two, don't you? I fell. <laughs> I would sweat nicely. In like those days, before I sweat, I have to go and buy rocks. The drug and heat. There I can have sweat. But I don't know there's another grace of sweating when you weed and eat. How old are you now? Uh, I'm almost in my 60s. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what you want to tell people who uh, are... I just advise them because, you know, like I tell parents, 
to, to, to how to even identify your children when they are going to this situation. How, how do I, I, I identify? I have children in the house. Yeah. Uh, they go to secondary uh, school. They come back. How do I go to school and still wanting and demanding, demanding, mind you? Okay, my child is in boarding school. Mm. How they, uh, daddy, uh, 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 my ma, ma, ma uh, 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 my laptop now say. Uh, um, and I, why we have my phone? When you start having this those... sentiment, my brother, the child is on the wrong way. Mm. Yeah, because that child should be able to economize whatever the daddy has given him up to, you know, a term or uh, you know till they complete. So at least as a parent, if you know these things, we should be able to take care of my child between this time to this time, yeah. and then. Very All of a sudden, you start hearing stories. stories. My shito is broken. Yeah, my this, my phone is missing. My laptop is broken, and that, 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 school, that. School, mind you, school used to report mm. bring complaints okay. about him to you. Yeah. Uh, you okay. These are you. the key, yeah, you, come and, you know, for you to identify when your children are okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. Um, we, we, as we want to go and make it. But finally, let me find out, please. How much do I have to pay if there is an addict who want to come? As I was saying, if we, you don't need we, to pay, we doesn't pay. We don't ask someone to pay. Only thing we are asking you, make a donation to support the social work of Rema. If you can be able to make a donation, good. If you not, we see your condition. You will not secure. A donation of a cash or... A donation cash or food or... Uh, mattress etc etc we need always yeah. cement you are constructing everything we sell you whatever you give to us you appreciate don't throw anything away you make a call don't throw anything whatever you don't need in your home we will need it oh so if i have a computer i computer, don't need i don't need bring it's house. working but maybe i feel it's pentium 4 i don't need bring it bring in tv you don't need bring it fridge yes bring it fridge whatever you are ready for it um okay so um in case I call you people on phone that come and pick, will you come? Yes, why not? We have officers, PR officers from Accra, from Saam, who are always moving around. So when you call directly, you call the head office, you enter in contact with them, and one of them will come with the car exactly to the place. Okay, the I like this portion. So share your number with us. You yeah, have a number? Yes, we have the office number 0501454242. Three, two. This the number of that. So we should we should call this number. Always when you call, you'll be linked anywhere you are Any in Ghana. Any work we are is the administrator number work in the office. And uh, this man is in the head office too. He can give you a number. Okay, so uh yeah. give me the number we can call. Zero five nine five four four five okay eight two seven. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, so we are going to take a tour inside their facility, but as I mentioned earlier on this, where they have, uh, their land is about um, 40 acres, which is not easy. Uh, I think government should come in to support what Rema is doing. And uh, not just government, but religious bodies, uh, irrespective of your belief, if you feel you want to support them, I think this is what you have to do. And this is their rubber plantation. I, I don't know how many trees you have there, rubber. How many? Uh, normally you plant, uh, it's 11 Africans, right? Okay. 11 half acres to contain 3,700 3, trees. But some of them die. So actually, the trees we are typing, they are over 1,000. Okay, trees. so over 1,000. 1,000 trees who are bold, we are typing now. Okay, so um, we are going to take um, a, a walk and do a tour inside uh, Rema uh, village Rema. here at Esawam. Okay, so um, we are making, uh, we are taking a tour where um, yeah. everything, so can you tell me about this place? This is the piggery where we have uh, over 100 and over pigs. And uh, these pigs, we ate some. Milk. Okay, so um, uh, you train some of the uh, uh, people here? Yeah, well. yeah, we train some of the people have to cater for them. You know, so we have a team who are purposely for the piggery. You understand me? They okay. take care of them, make sure... The, the the environment is clean. They eat twice a day, morning, afternoon, evening, and make sure their place is well well tied up. It means that um, after rehabilitation, and you still want to go, you can go and start your own piggery. Yes, because uh, this is an advantage for you how to handle, you know, 
these animals. And uh, when you have the passion to do it here, why not? When you go out, you have something in hand to do. Okay. You know, so... Okay, I can see you have cows yeah, too. the cows are also over there. Oh, was the vision of uh, her pastor who started them gradually, but <laughs> it wasn't an easy task. Do you, do you sell some of them? Yes, we sell some. We eat mostly. Yeah, when the occasions, Christmas, Easter, every home we share. You share around? We share. Every home have one pig. Every home, Accra, Banana Inn. Uh, Dan Suman, everybody have one pig to celebrate. <laughs> wow, yeah. you are you are doing so well. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so from here, where do we go to? Uh, from here, I think you can also look at the cow. You know, I think I will leave, I may leave the rest of the program no, for my... Continue. <laughs> no, yeah. Yeah. You know. Okay, so this where... This cow... It means that you don't just leave them for them to go around you to... Know, they have time to go out and come back in. And then it's still the rehabilitant who takes them around so that they will have a good feed and come back with them. Okay. It's all part of the preoccupation, yeah. the rehabilitation therapy. Okay. No matter who you are, you know, you may come here and say you are a graduate from University of Kivas or whatever. Yeah. No. With, that, with, that, with your status, you have to go through fully rehabilitation before we can put you where... You belongs to okay. you understand me so everybody you know so but you need some people who are having passion yeah about animals very cautious so that they don't enter people's farm to and destroy they, and they, bring yeah, issues bring issues so that is it they know their time to go and eat but when you don't feed them well too they don't stay in the ranch they break it and come out okay so we make sure they go out and the place is fertile you know it's often rain for yeah. here so but you do fish farming here yes we had a pond there but uh, we already have started it so you are going to restock uh, again. Then we restock again we had the catfish we had the tilapia wow all for us <laughs> yes all for us we share it among the homes. Wow. Everybody eats some. Yeah, that is it. And then the pottery is up there. Okay. You know, that is it. And then this is the church. Okay, so yeah. that's the church. Yeah, a rehabilitant was the architect, the guy who was cooking. Okay. He did the architect. He was also an addict. He's an addict. He is an alcoholic. The church and office. Okay. Uh, you can see the electrician, they are working where. You can always have conference, okay, meeting, okay, and congregate together. Wow. Okay. Those who are doing our own people. Are okay. People the, so your own people handles yeah, everything. Yeah, we have carpentry, carpenters, fitters, drivers, mason. So it's we, our own people, who do. Okay. Mm -hmm. As you see, we filters who are working with the cars. <laughs> it means <laughs> you, you, everything is here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because the, our issue is to get money to protect the little God is giving to us. Okay. To invest more than go to a filter. Uh, okay. Yeah. This one, they are newcomer. They just came. They came yesterday, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They came yesterday. Yeah, from, yeah, yeah. Uh, four days now. But what about those who came yesterday? Yeah. <laughs> Why is black man and why this one, this one, this one is a blind man? This one is a blind man. I don't understand. Same brother. Same hey, same yeah, brother. Take your time, Hold on. And um, are they addicts? They are addicts. Drug addicts. Are they come to stop drugs now? Yeah, name. Your friend was saying? I live quite a quiet thing. Your friend, what language do you speak well? Chi. What can chi? What do you saying? Kwesi Richard. Kwesi Richard. Kwesi a high and someone park roof in a bar. I told me if you ask him, me were a crowd official town. A crowd official town. And I'll be there. But I send by some way I hear a drug. We are drugs. We are cooking. Why you name fear bears any? I say eighteen years. Eighteen years. And I'll start here. When you're wagging so be jida. Maybe I might pay. And I'm your co-grass, I'll treat me cool. 
I said, I'm semi free mutia, and no, no, no. Debia, and the Yabi. And I dare be me by four days. Four days now by only. Oh, for fun, where I can't have a beer with me. We're pushing for way. Patrol more, Caddy. Omunim said to be away now. A patrol more drum into on better on carnay and on better on. Oh, 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 but how many say what I shall say? You are cocaine. You are too ungenerous, or then. Who knew which you are announcing? I know that you are not. Moya and Tafo. Moya and Yano. I don't pay. Oh, no, no, a penny. Now, on also your cocaine. I know, sir. I don't know who are you. I don't know who are you. Ah. If you bring Ben out, Nini, a who are you? First, about four years. But four years ago, you know who are you? Yeah, found one. No, I still bender. No, I still bender. Now, bendy, I don't see. Or do any bendy? It's in idea to two. In a born in idea to two. Crap, I say that what on to two young good name. It's a my table seen in this. Mammy, Miss Awo, now the situation we know at all your drag. I know that. Coffer problem. Debbie, you only man here. Situation na ne ni ne hano no oda suye cooking. Oh yeah. Eh eh, unya yefro eh page outi na mino onkasa. Yefro zain. Sebi ya wamu aku. Ya wamu aku. Mijina e umi. Umi kakra. Uzo shere da shere. Debbie fe mi ye fe mi shatare bing. Who are the But who are the no yaw? Who's who did the yaw? Yaw, who are the bad and as told us who you could cane? Yaw, so jago cane. Yaw, who is so jago cane? Oh, Casa, 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 who is so jay? Nti na waba hano. Nti ya mwa wana unjaye. Ya oye shio se. Na unwa diye na wana yo. Wana ode ne kwa wangu. Sa uwa meba. Me wo wo. Eh eh. Uwe. Wangu. Unu ya ni unwa diye. But wana ode ne kwa. Me indifende debi. Me indifende. Aha. Me si ebi ofie mi ofie kwa. Anu wati mi stop u taxi. E free fie kwa odo kwa. E kwa numu kukinu. E kwa tina diye. But so was what the Nicobi. Same quarters of you, Dimitri, I mean, I am. So, who knew the witchy dear? Now, all your day, no, yes, Cadetto. I shall, I am my chop money, be with you. Why, never mama chop money? Mommy, a senior from inside. Oh, mammy, what brochure? Oh, oh, my mind is not Um, let me be here. Uh, oh, my, my country, Ben. Oh, German. Inti ayo se ni muska kaka kaka. Yeah. Si kane ba ibe si wuso. There be there will be a scene so. No, this kana bremo. Right, yeah, and yeah. Yeah, yeah, chen kaka kaka. Eh, ayo otimi se ni be se ni ondeba. Maybe, maybe a hundred. Hundred cities. Hundred euro. Hundred euros. Bra, hundred euros ni be se ni. A boom, hundred euros a boom, and you become on Sanamo de Ayumu cooking. And you and your penny, sir. So a bad, sir. In Tilly, I dear, who buy it. Yeah, by the jay. Tia Muamon, no jay, by jay. We are sure, say, ye buamu amun ko back. Yeah, call back. They say crime by every two days. They try to crime it to me. I didn't know to me. I had the yeah we do any be brave. I didn't know to me. So they don't tell me. I'm I'm from it. Since yesterday, about two o'clock in the night, I vomited so to it. They don't be able to come with us. I mean, you see a crime no more. I vomited. Oh, my mind is so much sadie. My mind is only. Then you will be who I am now. Now, what's on now? You, mommy? Let me auto mechanic. Not just a bit, yes, 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 y
be kwa akwete ka akwete atagrika na je se se si ano ejuma no kra won timi ntine wo honye yeah amo ba kra unu ya yao a ohu ade esesi ano ono strategia wa na wona ondo dinu no ni peni to strategia enye so ono ni peni ye ka enye so ono ni peni una mu mie ni wan na strategia ono na di wo ko mu ana be na me pa quaint you so i me pa quaint you pa ti bu a me ba no no wo mu dada era me so me sue Oh, go the way, sir. I mean, maybe. Eh, how about no? Tobo, not bro. Who wants it? What's it? The impending for the catcher will say, "Ye be a bro." Who wants it? Now, yeah. What's it? Four months time. Ubuns obey a camera. Maybe have you no? Now why you nice? What's it? That's right. Mami bra ya usuna mene ya unye. Ya un. Sisi ano weni ne huwa di ekrao. Ya ukasa why? Wa ko hospital. Yeah, cocaine. Who did the casting? They be an uncle or cousin or the cocaine. Maybe they be a mutual. What came back when I edge a cause was saying? Thirty six. Who my meaning say we need no ifra, who want you? And then I will come from. What catch and say about Mamma Cobb? And I was saying. Okay, now and near you cry now, you bah. Okay, into your wah bah no, come come to you. Move your okay, what? There is another sad one that we've seen here, uh, um, Pastor. Uh, there, there is another a special case here. You have a lot to do because um, uh, your hair is blind, cannot see. I don't know how you are Normally going. Normally, the the first thing we do when they came, as we are saying, they are here over four days now, right? So we first of all tried to help them to get small strength. You see, beginning it was not like that. They start to recover. And after that, you will try to ask them because they have their file. Okay. Sure, they have their file and their report was not. What I know through them is an organization, Wopagape, who evangelize in the ghetto. Is Wopagape or you come by yourself? You came by yourself through the office. Okay, they went to their self to the office and they received them and they accompany them here. Okay. So we let them investigate, find out where is your family, etc. What can I do? You know, when somebody is sick, you can't go straight to ask about your family without taking care of him. You need to at least. So you need to at least take care of them, feed them, make them recover, and later on you start to question them from where your family are. Can you contact your family and your health issue? What problem? I know they told me already you have eyes problem. Yeah. But I don't know much. Deeply. Yeah, he cannot see. Yeah, that's what the information they So I was me. asking him how was he able to buy drugs. According to him, he would just stop a taxi and they would uh -huh. take him to the ghetto. And they said they are two brothers. So after that, you send him to hospital, start to see. As in case they are family, you contact the family to come and rescue to help us and take care of them. Okay, so every day we are receiving. So it means, yeah, definitely you will be taking him to hospital. Yeah, yeah, we have to do that. Sure, we have to do that. These some of the religious who are taking care of them see their condition, how they feel, they eat. Even when they are distributing food, he's the one who come and take for a brother, right? So... He says he, can, he cannot eat, though. For, yeah, he's normal. He's normal. He's normal. He says even water, right? He's he normal. Eat. It's the process. You know, other side, they will say, they let them give them medicine, drugs, etc. But we don't allow. He, he will vomit. He will start to feel cold. He start to feel like he's, he's sick, right? It's the process. But after one week, normally only thing we advise, give tea, coffee, Lipton, this kind of thing. I make him have to shake me toffee, tom tom, this kind of thing. And uh, after one week, you start to get appetized and then you start to eat. You see them, there is not their, when you see their body, it's not like it means that they have to develop. But because of the addiction, and four days is too, too, late, too new. You have to get time. Even some of them come yesterday. They brought two uh, or three years today. They are in. When you come near like this, they are in the room. This is their first phase. They are in the room. They are keeping them small, small, taking care. After they start to come outside, uh, and later on, before they will come like us. So all of us here, yes. we all. This one, if you know small dog, can eat.
<laughs> All of us. <laughs> okay. No, you get much. You come here. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'll be coming here. You don't worry. They are much. All of us. Nobody here can say that. All of us, including me. Oh. You told me that you've been into drugs before. Yes. You, yes. you, I'll come to you. All of us. <laughs> no one drug. All of us. I say all of us. <laughs> when I say all of us, it's all of us. Thank you. Uh -huh. <laughs> wow. So, yeah, as we are saying, yeah, it's for the U13 boys who are doing. Okay, your academy. your 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 football team. Yes, team the U13. And they train here. They train here. They are pitch. They behind. You see the pitch. So when they come from school in the afternoon time, we have a coach who will be paying and uh, who coach them and teach them. All right. So they are all in the classroom. This is the school, Rema Shalom Education Center. Rema Shalom Education, Education Center. Center. You can wow. See by the symbol on the wall. Um, is it is it open for people open, outside? Open for people outside. This is the school. Okay. Shalom Education Center. He, they pay fees. Yes, minimum. Okay. Minimum. Minimum. If I tell you, maybe here is a P one. Yeah. What I know, P1, they pay only 60 Ghana cities. Ah, 60 for a term. 60 for a term. <laughs> Pastor, this, this school should, be, should come to a crowd. <laughs> <laughs> because we realize that the village, the parents, they are suffering. They don't have the news. See, hello, madam. So, yeah. This is uh, P2, right? This P2. P2. This KG. KG. But if they are paying 60 cities, it's symbolically. You normally, we can't try them much than that because we realize at the beginning what God put in out to open the school to sustain Roma children. But later on, we realize that the communities have their need. Are you getting So today, there are over 200 something inmates. You see the headmaster. But all, most of them, they are from the community. Wow. And what they are doing here, they are, they are using the children for farming. Okay. They are not allow them to go school oh, for okay. family. So mean, because school is expensive. But okay. when you brought the school, you set up your school and we uh, tell, told them, oh, just you pay some of the minimum. And we explained to them today, let me tell you, most of the children from the area, they are, they are all coming to school. Yeah. And you give them books. They free give, books. Free books, yes. Roma give them books. When you receive our container books, pen, we distribute to them. Because they don't have the means. But Pastor, you see, the way uh, my problem has to do with the money you are charging, yeah. how do you then pay teachers? First of all, as I'm telling you, it's God first. And secondly, through our partners and our outside, uh, Roma outside, support us with this kind of thing to support the school. Our targeting, this boy tomorrow, there will be someone. Yeah. That is our targeting. And truly them, they can share the same love to others. So if you want your tomorrow to be better for start today, it's not because they don't have the means if we allow them. Today, school is expensive in the country. If you don't have money, you can't go to school. So what about these children? So because they don't have the remain at home, they have just to go farming for their age. If you see them 10 years, 6 years, rolling cutlass, they are going in the bush. But today, they are rolling pen. And they know how to write, even how to speak French. You because teach you them to, French? Yes. You teach them French in the school. We have over 18 teachers who are be paid by Roma. Over 10,000 every month we have to pay the teachers. They are here. This, this is a, a form three. Wow. Form three. And, and how is your performance three. when it comes yeah, to BEC? I will allow the headmaster to explain their performance to you. But since we start, all the children from the BC, they all are graduated at the high school. They are all passing. All passing. Even some of them, they are doctors today, they are university. I'm telling you the truth. Wow. This is the head office of the headmaster. So here is from one, from two, from three. Wow. We are building two classes for the, uh, uh, what I call them, the crash. I will not Maybe be surprised. Two. One day, some years to come, I'll come and see the university. Oh, here. sure, sure. It's part of the plan. <laughs> it's part of the plan. The secondary school and oh, the university, everything yes, is coming. Yes. So this is the office of the headmaster. Okay. This is the assistant, Mr. No. Okay. The headmaster yes, sir. Come in. Wow. So any information concerning the school is the best man. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Yeah, okay. Wow. So they have two hours for training, four to six. They will come train themselves and they come from training ground. And here we are going to the women's section. Okay. And the women, this land will be clean, is here the farm. 
Okay, so you have where the men farm and then where the women farm. Yes, the men, their section is down. Okay. From here in the project is to build, construct for year couple, those who married, those men who married, the women. Within Rema? Within Rema, yes, sure. So you are building for them? Yes. You know, see, is here me I'm staying? Is here I, uh, yes. I stay in the back, the women, they are there. Yeah. So here we come for couple. Those women, maybe they are in drug or etc. to rehabilitate, they decide to remain the ministry. By God, great, they met a man. They are to be married. The ministry take care of them, marry them, and now they are part of us. That's the so they don't spend money getting married? No, it's the ministry take care. The wow. ministry take care of everything. Your your expenses, your family, etc. Everything I'll be organizing by Rema. Wow. Yeah. Rema, you are doing so well here. So, as you can see, we have, we have three couple married people here. Okay. Three. I... Another couple, they are two years. So they have their room. And then their job is to take care of the little children. They okay. have little, little children. The babies, etc. They are taking care of them. So, yeah, they are all in the school here. Okay. Hello, who is there? Mama, you are going to visit this house. They, they are journalists. Come. No, no, no. No, no. Yes, you explain to them. This is my my little baby. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So he's the yeah. mother who is taking care of this house, and he's the assistant too. Oh, okay. They are, they are the two men, the man, so they the husband. Oh, okay. They take care of the children, the girls. So you have orphanage here. Yes. Okay. They actually are in the school. Okay. So those who are in is the girls who are taking care. This time around, maybe they are resting. So any question, then they can respond. So this is the women's section. Okay. Wow. You see them? This is the girls for mm -hmm. the age of uh, the bone. Mm -hmm. And here is their outside kitchen. They have the everything inside. Okay. In hall. Wow. And uh, what I'm saying, they have land where they are farming. Okay. And those who are schooling, they go to school. And those who are here, they are... So in the project, we are planning to build a place where they can even do bakery. Bread, okay. and this kind of thing there to supply for the all centers because bread, we are buying bread a lot. Because with what I'm seeing, Rema Ghana is going to challenge all, all, across the world. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, do, we don't want to challenge. We want to do what is right. What is mm -hmm. right is simple. I, I mean, you are going to be on top in terms of infrastructure and projects. Normally, you deserve what you are doing. And uh, for the years and years we are working on this country. So the only call we are making is people want to see and to come together. Rema is not for me. It's for all of us. Are you getting me? Yeah. For sure, one day, this kind of children, they can be someone in this country. Yeah, I'm just a missionary. And do my work tomorrow. My call come. Go to South Africa. I'll go to Angola. I pick my family. I'm going. But Rema is still remaining. Are you getting me? Um, I understand Rema has been in Ghana uh, since 1994. Right. Since 1994. Wow. Do, do you get, I uh, understand sometimes um, you get some of your uh, items from outside. Um, I don't know whether government give you subsidy on the. Um, uh, duty and the things, how much you have to spend. You get subsidy on that. No, that's where the challenge came from. As I was telling you, we supposed to receive every year over 10 containers. 10 40 feet containers. That's what we supposed to receive. But because of pain and uh, the process going on and the situation of the country, even this year, I said no. I refuse. Food. Food item. Materials for we to continue to develop the, the work we are doing here. But uh, that's the call we are making always. You know, government before, I remember that some year back, government had given us exemption to us, but truly they are abusing some fake NGO abusing and government to stop. Now it's like in the tomato, when one tomato is dirty, spoiled, it, it contaminates others' and tomato. Ones, yeah. So we are making call it to government or those who are in charge. Minister of Finance, make the come and see what Rema is doing. Make they open their eyes and they investigate. And if you deserve, make they help us. We are not asking money to government. Make they allow us receive our goods from Spain, 
from Roma UK, from Roma Italia. They are ready always to give us, send us containers. But money you have to spend at the ports. That is where the problem comes from. Imagine in 40 feet of container, you have to spend over $4,000. That's too much. Why? To take care of people. Because of people. some of these children, if you don't take care of them, they are the people who pick guns and come at her. They will come and kill that all of us. That is the fact. That is the reality. So to, I use your media to make a call. To tell government that, please, we need your help. Allow our goods to enter. It's not to sell. It's to use spaghetti, rice, tomato, oil. And this time around, you know how much is the bag of rice in Ghana? Oil is in Ghana. So if somebody outside is blessing me for me to take care of these people, why do you allow me to, to pay duty for it? That is the problem. And I pray that this year, truly, media government will understand. We don't sell food. We have a lot of people to feed. How can we sell food? Food is our major need. Hmm. And it's not only we, even we are feeding those who are in the ghetto. Every three days, we are, now it's three days, we increase because the numbers are increased. They call me pastor, people are plenty from Tudu ghetto up to Sahara ghettos, even to Achimota ghettos. People are yeah, too much. Vegas. So we, yeah, Vegas. You, you cook 25 bag of rice, that is not enough. So we have to increase the egg. I will show you where the egg comes from. Is here. We are doing poultry. Okay, so um, do, do you have some orphan orphans here? This way. Okay, so they are in school, but most of them come to sleep yeah, here. The, yeah, they stay here. Okay. This is the one of the girl who take care of them. Is the leader. She can. You can call her. Okay. Where are girl. you? Uh, Rose. Rose. Uh huh. Rose. She speak to you also. You can. Rose, Bray. What is saying? Yes, so now here in Kuala Lumpur. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, my okay. 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 How many things you know about? Actually, Burkina. Burkina. Nani mama we? Yeah, we branch for flow. Ah, it's branch now. We Burkina. No, we don't have that. Because ni mama ya jana to baby na. How many things we know about? Okay. Um, I was asking about the little girl here, mm -hmm. and I'm told there is a little girl who was brought from Burkina, mm -hmm. uh, from one of your branches. Ah, uh, yeah. Which said, one? The one there. Which girl? A small boy. They want the baby. Oh, okay. his mother. This is mother. His mother. Okay. He is the mother, and this girl is the mother today. Yeah. Okay. So she came from Burkina because his mother is missionary. Yes, yeah. she's okay. taking care of yeah. him. So she come to help his mother to work. Okay. Okay. But those little children, Ghanaians, who I brought them, they are in the school. So maybe close three o'clock. You see them if you are around. You see them coming. Around. Wow. Okay, so that's the poultry from where yeah, you get your... Yeah, you have the poultry. The chicken even you see you eat. Yeah. On the meeting. Yeah. They are from here. They are from the poultry. We don't buy. You don't need to buy. To, to, that is our policy. So you go there, you see. You, you have uh, the poultry. You have the eggs. The program you are doing to feed the people, you have to take the eggs from here. So how many eggs were, are you able to get in a day? Normally, here? actually reduced because we start this project over one and a half month now. Okay. One and a half year. Okay. Now. But uh, actually, we are getting uh, three crates per day. Okay. Three crates per day. But for doing the program, for example, we are using five crates for okay. the feeding program per week. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Pastor, if someone wants to help you, yeah. um, uh, where are some of your offices that we can visit to offer you? different help? branches. But the head office in Accra is down Suma. Control. Okay. All right? Okay. But uh, at Dabraka, we have offices. Kaneshi, you have office because Kaneshi, you have the boys. Okay. The nine years boys, they are in Kaneshi. But you have office there. So, uh, year two, they can send donation from here. So, everywhere Roma is, it depends on your location. You can easily visit there and make your donation there. Okay. So, the number you gave me uh, is on the screen. We mentioned yes. a number and we have put that number on the screen right now. Yes. In case you want to support Rema Ghana. Please, your doors are widely open. And wherever you are, if you have items, you have uh, freezers, you have... Uh, mattress, mm -hmm. bed. You are very needy mattress and bed. 
because the number you see every day we receive okay every day new common people are in we have to give them a mattress and bed to sleep so that is our challenges now okay that's why we are trying to build another extra room again because here is full they are over 40 years okay concern the first phase okay and the, as i was telling you the process when you are here after three months you are okay you have to remove the first phase to a second phase okay different branches in town okay yeah pastor thank you so much for you are welcome us. thank you thank you thank you god bless and you. we'll be coming here most often you are so, always welcome uh, expect you are us your home. yes it's our home yeah. thank you so much you <laughs> Okay, so um, we came to Pakro and Samoan where we have Rema Village uh, to see the place and have interaction with some of the inmates here. God bless you. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and stay blessed. Bye-bye.